first period, Nick Cork on a break. He can't get the shot away, though. It's defended perfectly by Louis DiMatteo. Fury on a power play now. Ryan Heach, the shot. It's stopped by Chris Jansen, but Luke Keenan digs the puck out for Ryan Taylor. He fires home to open up the scoring at one to nothing. Four minutes later, Scott Curtin muscling behind the net, draws a pair of defenders. Brock Welsh steps out from the corner, rips home his fourth goal in the last two games. He had a hat trick against St. Mike's a couple of days before. It is two to nothing now. At the other end, Austin Kane doing his best to keep the Golden Hawks off the board. He made a number of solid stops. Some of them were just unreal. Second period, Jeffrey Gold streaking down the wing, puts a harmless looking shot on goal. It's kicked out by Jens and right to Taylor. He pots the second of the night and 21st goal of the season. Back to Kane, this has 3-1 written all over it until he dives across crease to make a stabbing save. That is unreal. Third period, the Fury looked to have a fourth goal here, but Chase Rudy is going to clear the puck off the line. But soon after that, Justin Brand does make it four. He kicks the puck towards goal, getting his stick on it first to give Whitby a 4-0 lead. Kane continues to deny Trenton with yet another stellar stop. In the final minute here, a goal mail scramble. The net gets knocked off, and that means the Golden Hawks will get a penalty shot. It's taken by Dawson Baker. Kane gets a piece of it, but not enough to preserve the shutout. But Trenton fails to find a way to be awarded three more penalty shots in the final minute. That's the only chance they had to mount a comeback in this one. The Fury take it by a score of 4-1, to one, and much of the credit can go to this young man, Austin Kane, who was just lights out. Uh, honestly, I saw the shot come through. The boys did a good job of getting guys out of the way when, when they needed to, so there wasn't much that I didn't see today. Um, and that was perfect. A lot of the shots, the majority of the shots I, I faced were kind of easy, easy saves and, and stuff that I should have. Anything from the outside, that's kind of my job. And if I don't do my job, then, then we might have a problem. But that one there, I just, I knew the, the tip was coming and all I could do is get my body in front of it. And as soon as it went behind me, I mean, it's, we both knew where the puck was. It was just who could get there first and not sure where it came from, but it didn't go in the net. So I guess it doesn't matter now. Uh, we're, we're really bearing down um, coming after the Christmas break here kind of treating it like a second season, like a playoff hockey. We're turning into playoff hockey right now. Um, we're really starting to take advantage of team slow starts where the first goal is huge for us and we managed to get that again today. Um, and just our compete level is so much better. All the guys in the room are coming together as a family and it's, it's spectacular.